Thousands of runners from across the country are counting down the hours as they get ready for the Boston Marathon tomorrow, 10 years after the tragic bombings that shook the globe. Good evening. I'm Mark Charter. We begin tonight with 27's News Ward Jollis. He spoke to a Madison woman who says she plans to run the race, even though it means coping with a difficult past. Suzanne Treiber lives for running collection of um, marathon and half marathon medals that I've earned over the years. She's been doing it since her sophomore year in college. I got second place at the Fort Atkinson. It's a combination of I want to do it and I don't want to do it. And it's just, it's, it's quite euphoric. But take one more look at all those medals on the wall and you'll notice one in particular stands out. Boston 2013. When it first started, it was like every other day, and I was one that was able to finish. My husband was also running. He was able to finish as well, and uh, we heard the bombs go off. Two bombs planted near the finish line of the marathon suddenly exploded, leaving hundreds injured and three people dead. 5,700 runners never finished that race, and since that day, Triber hasn't been back to Boston. But this year, something's different. Triber felt on the 10-year anniversary she had to make another run. Uh, I, I think I've put a lot of pressure on myself um, just because I want it so badly. Sure enough, Triber qualified once again. This Monday, she'll be running in the 2023 Boston Marathon. It'll be both rewarding and difficult for Triber, but she says that's what Boston Strong is all about. I think that it's that's something that we can all learn from is that even in pain and discomfort, there can be joy. And that's what I'm going for. In Madison, more jealous, 27 News. And if you'd like to see Triber cross the finish line tomorrow, you can watch coverage of the Boston Marathon on ESPN. There's also a live stream on the website, Very Local Boston.